Hi, I'm Don Watkins, community moderator at opensource.com with this week's top five. At number five, opensource.com community moderator Ben Nuttall with how to set up a Postgres database on a Raspberry Pi. This tutorial explains how to install Postgres on a Raspberry Pi, create a table, write simple queries, use the PG admin GUI on a Raspberry Pi, a PC or a Mac, and interact with the database from Python. At number four, opensource.com editor Jason Baker with six new guides and how-tos for OpenStack. Here are some of our favorite new guides, tips, and tutorials for OpenStack that we came across in the past month. Did we leave out a great one? Let us know in the comments below and we'll consider adding it to our next edition. At number three, opensource.com editor Jason Baker with 10 open source alternatives to Minecraft. Jason says that there's no denying that Minecraft is a favorite game for millions. The game's popularity has led to many attempts to recreate its look and feel and others in a similar vein as open source software. If you're interested in free open source alternative, then you'll want to read this article. Which one is your favorite and which one did we leave off that you wish we had covered? At number two, opensource.com community moderator Ruth Holloway with Perl Turns 30 and its com community continues to thrive. This is a detailed article about the 30-year history of Perl and the Perl community. Ruth writes that Perl is about people, the people who create, maintain, support, and use Perl jointly, create an environment where developers can learn and thrive. You will enjoy this article no matter where you are on your Perl journey. And at number one, Senior Specialist at Red Hat, Daniel O, with 10 layers of Linux container security. You need to think about security throughout the layers of the solution stack before you deploy and run your container. In the article, Daniel says, try these 10 key elements to secure different layers of the container solution stack and different stages of the container lifecycle. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.